hello hello my love bugs once again it's your girl Lumi love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden out your heart for i'm just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for the likes subscribe shares and views everything is greatly appreciated my loves let's go ahead and get into it all right i was in here searching through my deck and I went through my oracles because I haven't been using too many oracles. Well, I've been using my oracles, but not many of my other oracles. So I was like, well, let's see what they got to say. Okay. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for divine guidance, clear communication, divine protection. Because somebody then lost their rabbit. A hey, mind, y'all. Madness. Oh, somebody is losing their mind. They want to rebel so bad. They want to get you back. They want revenge. It's like you bring their inner monster out. So obviously your light irritates their demons. Okay. We have this hunter. This person maybe wants to hunt you down now. This person is an aggressor in this situation. They want to be the aggressor. They're thirsty for you. They're upset because they crave your occupation. Wow. Yeah, this person wants to be you so bad. They crave your occupation. This person is losing their S-H-I-N-T. They might have red hair. This person, you may have considered a sister or something like that. Whatever, this person was a copycat energy. They were jealous of you. So they tried to do something behind your back, the call of the night. They tried to do something at nighttime behind your back, but you're protected. I did not notice, but this card's got a lot of scratches on it. And I was drawn to the wolf in the back. Maybe this person stepped into their literal inner monster, werewolf energy with this uh, full moon. Maybe this person could possibly, I'm hearing, be a skinwalker and maybe transformed into a wolf or trying to do some sort of magic like that, a skinwalker. But they lack discipline. They need a lot of training and practice into doing this. But this person feels like they should be able to do it because you can do it. Oh my goodness. Maybe you can do it. Maybe you spazzed out and changed into something. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't want to talk about it. Uh, maybe, maybe you can transform in your dreams. Maybe this person is calling the night. They came to you in your dreams and you had like a wolf spirit protecting you and they think that you're the wolf spirit or maybe you are the wolf spirit. And like I said, it was scratches all on that card. You fucked them folks up. You connected deeply with something sacred within you to defend you, to protect you because this person continued to attack you. And this person is jealous because this person doesn't possess the same energy that you do. Oh my goodness, girl, you might be a skinwalker, baby. You might have that in you. You might have been a skinwalker in your past life. Get it. Okay, anyways, this person witnessed it. Yeah, it's something personally that they witnessed that you spazzed out on them or in a dream or something. You might have shapeshifted. This person didn't know what to do with themselves. They were afraid, okay? And uh, they found out that you truly are immortal because they might have also tried to, like I said, do this skinwalker shit to come and take your life from you. But you're, it's, it, it comes naturally to you. It's a defense mechanism for you. Okay, you snap into your primal energies when, you know, you did this. And this person is lacking faith. This person is just hunting you down because you have the faith. You are saying that you're innocent. You're saying that, you know, you, you stick to a certain belief system. And this person just feels like you're lying. But you're living in your truth, okay? That's why with this fiery heart right here, that's why you're able to possess these powers to unlock these powers from your past and be in this immortal energy because this person is jealous of you so they tried to attack you and then they found out firsthand that you ain't nothing to play with okay they witnessed you turn into i'm hearing this monster <laughs> they saw that and it made them even more jealous because they like this bitch got super powers but it's what your free will your independence your free spirit is what this person really cannot stand all right, they were anticipating on taking your wishes, being you. They were anticipating on literally copycatting your energy, but they're spending their last day in the light, okay? It was an unexpected surprise that this person now has to live in this past prison. This person is stuck in the past, being very bitter, being very, uh, I mean, holding a lot of grudges, refusing to let go 
of the fact that you're moving forward and that they're an actual karmic. They're not going to be able to be this anti-hero. They're not going to be able to break the rules and just control you because they're that angry. This person thinks they possess some sort of power to where they can get what they want. They can do what they want to do for everything but against you. Okay, you have energy, uh, eternal youth. This person may have tried to do some beauty spells on you. And this person feels like you fucking supernatural. Okay, they tried to sacrifice you and that shit did not work. This person was for sure thinking that they were going to be able to take your life from you. Here we go with this wolf again. I'm telling you, girl, you be spazzing out in your sleep. People try you on that shit and you, you, you spaz out. But you're courteous. You're a very kind person and you were being kind to this person. They were just being heinous against you because they were jealous. This person is an outsider. This person felt like you have ancient blood or you have some sort of connection that allows you to be able to shape shift into you know this is the ancient card right here it says egypt so you think about it you might have a magical inheritance from uh an egyptian bloodline because you're able to shape shift you know back then they had animals and uh animal heads and human bodies and i know they talk about the anunnaki and they talk about how they did a lot of experiments back then and they put you know animal heads on human bodies and this that and the third but i just think that was the transmutation of energy and that animal just showed what energy they were in or what energy they encompassed okay so i feel like you can do the same thing if someone is coming toward you to attack you you can turn into one of these half animal half beast creatures and tear their ass up that's just that okay this person was trying to manipulate you maybe seduce you in some sort of way you didn't know maybe this feminine liked other feminine and you weren't you know into it or you didn't know that she was trying to seduce you with some love spells behind your back to draw you in so that she could take you out all right <clears throat> now this person wants to act as if though they want forgiveness they need your advice they want to listen to you and learn your knowledge but that's what you like that's literally what, what they want to do they want to act like they're sorry just so they can get up under you and play you on your own shit learn what you believe in your practices so that they can try to have you heal them okay heal their transgressions and then they take your energy this person got burnt by the sun because i'm here who do you think you are baby i said who do you think you are okay john legend said we are we are we are we are okay I don't know what else he said after that, but I like that song. <laughs> Post the note. And who do you think you are? Okay, the whole choir in heaven is asking this woman, who do you think you are? She really did try to trick you, but you, okay, this woman got burnt by the sun, and at the time that she was burnt, you were resurrected, okay? Whatever she tried to bring towards you, whatever light she tried to take from you was completely, okay, like 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 your recovery your comeback like it's like if your light was just a little regular porch light bright by the time she turned around your light turned into like spotlight bright like hot who goes there like you know what i'm saying like you 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 amped up times 10 your light was bright and every time she tried to send something to you to get you you motherfucking you handle it see though even the wolf now is, is is tired but this the thing she may have a pet she may have a husky. Those dogs like wolf dogs. She may have a husky. Look at these cats, though. Whatever she was sending for you, fuck with you. They roll with you. They rock with you. Okay? Whatever it is, it don't matter how nasty it is, it rock with you. Because what she failed to realize is in this life, that's why that free will came out. Ooh, hallelujah. In this life, you chose to be good. You ran, you, you ran neck and neck with her in the, in the past. Y'all might have been cool. I'm getting a lot of energy that this was your friend in the past life. This might have been a sister of somebody in the past life. And this person is jealous because you chose different in this life and God blessed you. This person refused to believe that they could be blessed. They refused to take their blessing. They let the darkness take over and they were upset with you because you decided not to. So they wanted to send shit for you. But what she failed to realize was you played with each and every one of these entities in the dark before they respect you. They deal with you. They like you. They ain't had no problem with you. If you, if you, <laughs> I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. If you offer somebody up to them, it was for good reason. And they were allowed to get that person. If she was to offer somebody up to these spirits, it would not be allowed because she's being heinous. You were able to use these darker spirits to protect yourself in your past life. Okay. You weren't going around just cursing people. But if somebody cursed you, eye for an eye, you were sending that shit back. If they dropped, they wanted you to drop. So that's just what it was. That's the energy we was on. But now you're in a higher energy. You have let go and let God. You don't care. So now your higher energy has risen. It has ascended. Okay. 
Now this woman here is realizing that she's fragile. She's mortal. She doesn't have any protection because the shit she took for you, she can't take. She only got a little dab of what she sent for you and she is burnt by the sun. She cannot take. You are in high honor, okay? You are very intelligent. You're very inspirational to other people. You have a purpose on this earth and you deserve to be here and you're gonna be here and nobody's gonna be able to try to take you off. You had empathy and kindness for this person. And this person still, in the, in turn, tried to send you some sort of nightmare. But, baby, I'm telling you, whatever she tried to send for you, you ended up controlling it. She sent that horse in there for you, and you ended up riding that bell up on her. You feel me? Like, whatever she sent for you, you were able to shield yourself from these bad dreams. You were able to stop these nightmares. You were able to tame these beasts. They wanted to chill with you, talk with you, hang with you. Okay, this woman had no control of the monster that was within her and you did. Okay, so it was like a lion. I mean, not a lion, a wolf fighting a wolf or whatever it was. You had yours with you. She had hers with her and she lost. All right. Now you chilling. Meanwhile, again, whatever it was that she was out here sending for you is sitting here waiting on her, hunting her, stalking her. All right, you won. Love conquers all, my love. This woman might have to dang okay we're just gonna say she gonna have some endings i ain't gonna lie to you this whole time it's been time telling you man this woman ain't gonna she ain't gonna last too long her expiration date coming up real quick i'm just gonna say what i was gonna say because i could freely and openly say that this woman tried to take your life but then when this card right here came back it was saying mortal saying goodbye right here uh that death will come i'm gonna leave it where it's at but you was being watched when you did what you did god saw what you did God said, who do you, I'm telling you that choir, instead of singing, who do you think you are, Miss Ma'am? Your last couple of days, these last couple of calls for help you're trying to do, no one's going to feed, no one's going to reach back out to you, love. No one's going to reach back out to you. You're going to have to deal with this one. And I'm hearing it's not going to, the world ain't ready for me to start telling people how they going to go. All right, Holy Spirit. Um let's see what else y'all what else this woman did some real heinous stuff she had to have she had to have because if she about to she had no respect for your boundaries she still can't stand you maybe you are a sexual abuse victim that's kind of maybe where y'all bonded at y'all might have trauma bonded that's why y'all started kicking it okay you block this person now this person now has an std they're under judgment. They tried to do a bunch of chaos magic and hold your child back. Now they want to reach out to you and apologize because they were working against people. I mean, working with people against you, hacking into your stuff, trying to take your gifts. This is a past life enemy, man. I kid you not. She's trying to plan her last betrayal. She's drunk while she's doing this. Somebody that's drunk ride past your house if it ain't her. It's a masculine that be riding past your house that maybe had something to do with this feminine that she got some dirty pipes from. That's why y'all might not be talking because she was working with this person to try to take your third eye energy. Um, and she was also trying to take your divine partner. She wanted you for herself. So she felt like if she got with your divine partner, you wouldn't want to be with them. She hating on your DNA. Like I told you, she's upset because you have this Egyptian blood, okay? She went to the crossroads on you. She's planning to go to the crossroads and put a hit out on you. And if she do that, that is going to be the last. This woman tried to get something. This werewolf. She tried to get a skinwalker to, to, to spiritually rape you. I'm so sorry I had to use that word and say that, but she did. And I think she tried to also do this to your child. No, her child now needs protection because whatever she sent for you and your child is coming back to her and hers. Uh, this werewolf energy might actually be a masculine. This person that's drinking that may be watching you. He likes other masculines. Um, he might be trying to... She might have... She. I hate to say this, y'all, but she might have sold her baby to this man. Or she might be getting ready to sell her baby to this man. Or this man is going to be too close to her child because of the things that she wished for you this is horrible this woman wished some real nasty stuff for you her entire family did this and now they want forgiveness because they are suffering they wanted you poor they wanted to end your soul your your soul connection because this feminine had a thing for you what in 
the I don't want to get up out of this energy, but I got to do this. This last deck, and then I'm going to get up out of this because this is disgusting. This is weird. This is weird. Somebody said they're going to drop all their hoes for you. They was a part of the plan to set you up for homegirls. So this masculine that's drinking, um, he might like underage feminines. He might deal with underage feminines. Um, he is the one that's that's drinking, driving past your house. He is the one that's trying to get back in touch with you and apologize because he messed with this girl and that's how they ended up with this STD. Um, I think she gave it to him. Or he might have had gave it to her. I don't know. But it was talking about you being her homegirl and she backdoored you. And now he swear he gonna come tell you what she did and drop all his hoes because she was a part of a plan to set you up. Well, no, he was going to tell you that she was a part. He was a part of the plan with her to set you up because he was just tricking on her. And she had him believing some stuff about you. And they worked together against you doing all kind of magic against you and your child. Um, They tried to get this woman to poison you. This woman's insecure as fuck and she blames you. This masculine cheated on you with your friend. I'm telling you, she was only there for the D. And now this masculine swear he want to marry you. But both of them tried to get somebody to rob you. And now they scared because it's coming back on them. And they friends plotting on them just like they plotted on you when you thought y'all was friends. And they swear they too traumatized, hurt people, hurt people. But they want everything you have and they mad as fuck you figured it out. They mad they can't hurt your lover. They mad them love spells they did on you didn't work. She mad because she tried to body shame you to get this masculine not to want you. And he still wants you and she do too. And now... <laughs> And now, just because you was a guy saying for them, they tried to get you hurt. I'm telling you, these two people tried to get you hurt. And somebody ain't got too many too many days left. I'm just going to leave it there. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all my loves. Um, I don't know. I might do one more for y'all, okay? Let me see how I'm feeling. Let me shuffle up. I don't know. This is pretty deep. I might. I don't know, y'all. Just, uh, like I said, if you hit that uh, bell notification, you'll know when I post, boo. So, We'll see. We'll leave it up to the night, all right? I'll see y'all in the next one.